Hey guys, welcome out to the channel today. We're gonna to be working in the rabbit tree again, and uh, today we're gonna to be setting up an automatic water system, and this is gonna be something very simple that you guys can adapt to different uh, items. You guys could even possibly do it for uh, like dog food or dog watering, cat stuff, chickens, whatever you wanna water, you could probably adapt this kind of system. You might have to modify it a little bit, and obviously, the finished watering spot will have to be changed. All right, so some of the materials that you're gonna wanna have is uh, some zip ties. You're gonna need a uh, barb that is gonna have the uh, male pipe and then it's gonna be 5 16th by quarter inch. And then you're gonna need some hose. This is black hose. It's supposed to help with algae growth. The inner diameter on that is 5 16th. I don't know what the outer is. I didn't care because it's not um, it's not going through any holes or anything like that. So that doesn't matter. And then last but, well, I guess almost last but not least, is you're going to need a watering system. And for the rabbits, I've got these little watering nipples right here and uh, these work really good they're very simple for them to figure out um, it just goes into a uh, a cage and then hooks on with a spring very simple to install and with the kit that i'll be linking down below it also comes with this whole entire bag is 20 uh, nipples uh, 20 t's and 20 springs and uh, that's going to be plenty for us to do and if any of them ever get ruined or anything like that, worn out, we can go ahead and replace them. And then obviously you're going to want some kind of bucket. We went to Lowe's and picked this up with a lid for like four bucks, I think. So this will uh, do the job right. I mean, do it right. Since we're in the shop, we're going to go ahead and install the barb into the bucket to begin with. And uh, for that, you're going to want a half inch drill bit. And I'm going to be doing this right up about where the W is. And that's about an inch to an inch and a half up from the very bottom. So we'll spin this around. Don't wobble your bit at all when you're doing this. You want to go slow and just make sure you're staying straight up and down. As soon as you poke through, go ahead and stop your drilling because you don't want to hollow this hole out at all because this will be a almost perfect fit for your barb to go into. You don't want to over tighten this either. You want it just snugged up. That should be good. Now we'll move to the outside. Right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is locate a uh, spot for the nipples. And what we need is just the, uh, the nipple and the spring. And we are going to be putting it right in this general area. And the way it works is that the spring just kinda goes in through this little hole right here. If I can get it in there. And then the nipple part needs to go up like that. And we'll just put it over there. And then you got to use a hook of some sort to attach this side over. Let me see if I can get, the, get it all attached. So you want to use a hook and just wrap it around that next post. This does not work on the uh, chicken wire, so it has to be on a, uh, a cage material. So just remember that, that's why I'm doing it here on the front instead of like the back side of the cage. And so I'm gonna be doing it on uh, all of the spots and then we'll move on to actually putting the hoses on. So we got the hose here now, and what we want to do is cut three of them at about 10 inches in length. All of them are they're going to be the same size. These are going to be the hoses that go from the nipples to the tees, to where the main feeding line is.
So this is how the tees go. We only need two tees. I only needed to cut two of the short hoses because the last section is actually going to be going all the way to that last nipple. So you need to put a T on your first hose and on your second section as well. Now what you want to do is go ahead and attach one end to the barb and then the other section for the beginning will go into your first T. And then we're just going to complete the uh, little daisy chain going down the line. After you've gotten your uh, hose line completely finished, this is my second setup and then it goes all the way around and then down to the very last nipple and after you get all those done i went ahead and zip tied loosely in place where i want these and we're just going to clip off the excess on all of these so that they aren't just sticking up in the air looking weird And now it'll be time to check and make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, so we got the bucket filled up with water. And here is our first connection where we drilled into the bucket. And as you can see, there's no leaks right here. And there's a the connection. And so what we'll do is we'll actually go to these nipples and we'll just push them. And this will help bleed the air out of the system for all the different nipples and especially the last one so we'll just keep on pumping this until, until it starts uh squirting water out hey noel what are you doing just relaxing and then this is the last one right here so now we got water coming out of all of them and we have no leaks whatsoever all right guys so that's it uh just a few basic things to make your own automatic water and it only takes less than 10 minutes depending on how many cages you have but uh, everything's easy to hook up i'm really happy with the products that i received uh, i ordered everything off of amazon and uh, i read a lot of the reviews and some of the nipples have really bad reviews these ones had higher reviews on them and it came with a, a 20 nipples complete and uh, with the tees which made it a lot easier to decide because if something did happen to one of the nipples for the rabbits i would be able to change it out so i have extra a few things that you want to make sure is when you do install this do not take the other source of water away from them right now you want to go ahead and leave that in there for a little bit until they get used to where their new water is coming from when you do their water you want to go ahead and add uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar i believe it is and uh, it helps with their uh, digestion so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you guys have any questions comments uh, leave them in the link down or in the section down below uh, i'll leave a link to all of the products in the description so you guys can get them and like I said, I started this up, had absolutely no leaks whatsoever, which is really good. Uh, a lot of people I see doing this have leaks to start with. So there was zero leaks right from the get-go. Thanks for watching. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next project.